show day. All right, no, but seriously, uh, show day is today. We have a show um, right down the road from me. I actually have a client first thing this morning that's coming over, doing a fitting, then uh, thread. Then we are going to uh, head to the show. Before that, though, you're going to get a fresh coat of tan. Who are we wrestling? Mike Hammer. Michael Hammer. We are going to be working him again. A lot of hate there. A lot of seeing his stupid Bobby Hill ass head. But hey, I'm going to beat the shit out of him today. I got to pack it back. Made a new pair of trunks for today. Look at him. Very different for me. Not my normal, not my normal style. Quick rundown. Some essentials. If you're going to a wrestling show, if you're new in the business, some essentials you should have in your gear bag at all times. Essential number one, you should have a towel. I learned this late. I've just started recently bringing towels because normally I'm doing a million other things at shows, but always have a towel. Essential number two is obviously have gear, bro. Like have your fucking gear. You're on a show. If you don't have gear, that's, that's a problem. Just saying. Essential number three, I always have plenty of rolls of tape because it never fails. It never fucking fails. You're taping up, getting ready to go, putting on the old grippers, wrapping them sons of bitches. So when you lay somebody out, you're not going to break your hand. And somebody is always going to say, hey man, borrow some tape. Got tape? Got tape? Extra. Always. Essential number four, I am a trunks guy. I used to be a biker shorts guy. I used to be a long tights guy. But now I'm a trunks guy. You have to do some moving around. You have to go out. And you know, walking out in your fucking underwear is not always the funnest thing to do. Clothes that go over your gear. Have a pair of shorts. Cut off douchebag tank top that I throw on. Essential number five. This one by far. This one by far is the most important fucking item you can have in your gear bag. And I'm not gonna name names. <laughs> Deodorant, motherfucker and fucking headlocks, tackle drop down situations, head scissors, Jesus Christ. Have deodorant, bro. Use it. All right, we are en route, heading to the venue, actually heading to TAM. I'm not gonna clap anymore because I noticed I do that a lot, uh, especially when my brain's all over the place. When your pre-10 regimen is complete, please enter the booth. They your hand in front of the center. The auto wash cycle will begin now. You're making them drip, son. Bobby! Yeah, I want water. Oh. It's good when you run. Shoot, that was cold, bitch. 160 pounds, Cody Berenger.
first. Two minutes left in this bout. Two minutes left. Also, sorry about my ISO. It's fucking blurred out of this goddamn misery. So, but anyway, great show. Had a blast. Um, number one contender for another championship. That means another one's going to be coming home with me here pretty soon. So, I'm going to fucking Applebee's and I'm going to eat that shit. Oh, oh, my chest, man. <sighs> my nipple. Oh, God, I'm stiff. And we're home. Hell of a night. Went to Applebee's afterwards. The adrenaline has completely worn off. I have hamburger meat for chest. I'm bruised, I'm battered, but god damn do I love this business. Am I gonna win another championship? Is that what Cody Behringer does now, win championships? Does that sound pompous? It's only pompous if I just talk about it and don't be about it, but I'm all about it. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a bit pompous. With all that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not a maker gimmick, but you know what? It's what I felt like fucking filming. If you want to order custom gear from JCJ Gear, which is me, hit me up in them DMs. Slide in them sons of bitches. Real slick, real nice. Chef's kiss. And uh, if you enjoy this type of content, leave a like below. And if you don't, go fuck yourself, all right? Catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and fucking, I don't know, some bullshit. Later. <laughs>